Gemini. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 13th to the 19th of November 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Also, if you enjoy the reading, I'd appreciate if you click the like and subscribe button below. Um, I have had a few months off with my knee surgery and I'm back to square one and trying to build the channel up again. So please <laughs> press the buttons. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we will begin. Gemini. Spirit Animal Oracle. One more. There you go. So you get number 64, Wasp Spirit. Sometimes life stings. May have been through some tough life lessons recently. Um, they do happen for a reason. We don't always know the reason why, but sometimes life stings and you get number one. You are number one, Gemini, and Spirit. Time to collaborate. Okay, so learning from past life lessons here, um, but starting to work together. There's a partnership around love, around work, around home. There is this time to collaborate and make that sting go away. Okay, so 13th to the 19th, November 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Gemini. Overall temperance may have connection to Sagittarius here, going with the flow, not forcing the issue, okay, and um, time to collaborate, working together to get the flow of energy moving forward in a direction that seems to be a hell of a lot better than the life sting that you have had in the past. Monday, Five of Cups, because of that life sting, possibly here, going through some sort of emotional grief loss sadness here knowing there's loving energy around you and i do always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and get on with it this is done in everybody's own way going with the flow but i feel like that flow is in the way that suits you right here gemini tuesday king of swords ready to take action here to go after what it is you want who it is you want where you want to be um, using your head over your heart very logical very level-headed um, and ready to take some action and get things moving forward in your time after monday talking about getting things happening six of swords you don't want everybody knowing what your plans are at this stage you may be applying for a new job moving to a new love maybe moving to a new town or a new country even you are taking action to get things moving forward here if there is this partnership it is working together making sure you are both on the same page here going with the flow but it's ultimately always going to come back to going with the flow and the pace that you are content with. Gemini into Thursday, Nine of Cups, emotional happiness right at your fingertips. Always say it's like a final push around that oomph to get to that tenth cup, but it is all coming in your way right here. Friday, Four of um, Pentacles. Okay, something or someone that you're not able to release completely here, but you are remaining very balanced while you're hanging on to whatever, whoever, wherever this energy is. And again, this may be this whole sadness you're going through. And at the moment, you're hanging on to it for your own reasons to work through it in your own time, in your own way. But you are remaining very balanced with that there as well. Five of Wands, this is where the Saturday, sorry, this is where this energy may be coming in and telling you it's time to move forward here with this conflict, drama, jealousy. It's what you're not wanting to get caught up in. It's what you're not wanting to get involved in. And it's kind of like leave all that drama at the door because you've got enough to contend with at the moment while you go through this whole sadness process at the start of the week with what that life sting has actually brought to the table 
but you finish on Sunday. Queen of Swords. Love that straight after this Five of Wands because this is quite brutally up front, very direct, very cutting, almost putting someone in their place. So when somebody is trying to say, get on with it, it's like, hold on a second, you're not having to deal with this. This is what I'm dealing with and I will deal with it in my own way with that flow of energy going at your pace. So I feel like this week here, um, Gemini, there is a bit of a tough stage you are going through after something or someone or somewhere has stung you and it's a process to work through in your way and you're not letting others come in and tell you to do so otherwise. So Gemini, we will clarify everything though here. Temperance overall for the week, it is about still moving, you are still moving forward here with this energy. The world, love that. Six of Swords, the Magician. And again, you've got your plans in place to move on at your own pace here. The backing of the world, something is coming full circle here and has got your back. You've manifest in a way to be able to pick up some pieces here and to be able to get this flow of energy moving forward. And as I said, it is moving forward with temperance but it's moving forward at your pace and not someone else's. Okay, Five of Cups, Monday, Gemini. The Star, Five of Wands, Three of Pentacles. That drama, that conflict again, you're not letting that get on top of you. You've got enough to deal with here. You know there's loving energy around you, possibly a partnership of some sort. There is that spirit time to collaborate with that Three of Pentacles putting some solid plans into place to build something solid from the ground up, but doing it at your own pace. Again, you know your dreams, your wishes, and where you want to be heading. And this is all about focusing on, I feel, focusing on yourself here. We have connection to an Aquarius. King of Swords, Gemini, Tuesday. Knight of Cups, Princess of Wands, Six of Wands. There is an offer of love here, whether you know it or not, as an existing relationship or somebody brand new. You may be offering love to someone, they may be offering love to you. This may be some logical thinking being put into the thought behind this offer of love. But um, very compassionate, very giving, somebody's by your side while you are going through this whole energy here. But again, I feel like you're coming out of this. On top of it claim that victory that is yours and that is yours by doing things your way six of swords Gemini Wednesday five of cups again ten of Pentacles ace of swords been able to clear the crap out from the past um, I feel like this is starting to clear everything up and having this fresh new start that you are moving forward towards um, the success around home and family life, it is there. And this is all about being able to do this at your own pace. That sadness, it's lingering, but again, it's lingering for you to work through. But whatever that life sting was, that crap, you are well and truly ready to cut that out, cut that free. Nine of Cups, Gemini, Thursday. Eight of Wands, Four of Swords, the Chariot. Whatever this collaboration or whatever this partnership is, um, being on the same page, making sure that that communication is shared backwards and forwards here. Taking some time to do some healing through this whole grieving process, but um, looking after number one. That collaboration, you do balance the chariot out and you are able to get that moving in a forward direction, not getting the speed wobbles, going with the flow at your pace. But um, as long as the communication is out there in the open, somebody here possibly needs to know when you do need to take a step back and concentrate on yourself for a bit here. Did I say may have connection to Cancer? And into Friday, Four of Pentacles, Gemini. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords. Is that King of Swords again? Very logical, using your head over your heart, 
um, very level headed here. You are putting a lot of hard work in to get that success to come your way. And I feel like whatever it is that you are hanging on to here while you go through this whole process, this is what starts to be released here. And that hard work does start to pay off and things do start to take off here. But um, you are putting some very careful thought into what the next stage of this journey is for you. Five of, five of swords, I nearly said. Five of wands, Saturday, Gemini. Queen of swords, look at that power couple, king and queen of swords. The lovers, two of swords. I have connection to a fire sign. Here's all the swords, all the action that is being taken now when you are ready for this. And again, you finish with the queen of swords here. So this drama, this conflict, this is what needs some cutting down to size, I'm going to say, before it gets out of control. There is a somebody significant by your side, um, existing relationship, somebody brand new, soulmate twin flame. You may have connection to another Gemini, but they are here helping you work through this process. And also, as I say, two heads are better than one. Having the problems that are happening around this drama and this conflict. And then you're able to make a clear decision what path you are taking, possibly well and truly taking that path together. And Queen of Swords here, Sunday, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. Look at you come out of this celebrating. Okay, successful new chapter here by being able to take the time for yourself. Feel like previously you possibly try and take some time for yourself. Five minutes in, everybody wants you to do things. And um, this is about going through this whole process, completing this process in your time, in your way. But you're ready for the whole fresh new chapter here. You are celebrating coming out of this life sting, still on top, still standing. Slow down, don't rush into things, do think things through carefully here, but I feel like this whole new chapter has reason to celebrate. Wow, Gemini. So let us see what the universe says. The Hanged One, Princess of Wands, Ace of Swords. It's still about the time, the flow of energy, the process in your time, in your way. With the hanged one, I usually say you're sitting on the fence, playing the waiting game. Someone's got to make their mind up and it's not happening. I feel like this is the whole hanged one energy for yourself to heal, to go through this process, to end that chapter with that life sting there and then cut as I said, Ace of Swords always say it, and then cut that crap out from the past. It's done. You can't go back. It is about healing that and then having this fresh new start. Very compassionate, very giving, but always knowing at the moment you may need to take a step back and look after number one. Wow, Gemini. So let's finish with Open to Spirit Oracle. I didn't want to go back in the pack. Let's see what that is. Brilliant. With this reading, center yourself. Affirm, I am light, I am love, all is well. Especially when you're looking after yourself right there, Gemini. So, let's read that. Move through today with centered calmness. Remain connected to the unconditional love and light within you. Hold a steady balance and keep an open heart. That much is within your control. Do not allow the ripples of other people's emotions to disturb you. That drama down here. When you are calm, your vibration helps to calm others who are in turmoil. No more is needed. Your vibration encourages peace. That is yours to be balanced with Gemini. So that is what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Many blessings to all of you. And I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.